Welding Joint Types The term weld joint design refers to the way pieces of metal are put together or aligned with each other. Each joint's design affects the quality and cost of the completed weld. Selecting the most appropriate joint design for a welding job requires special attention and skill. There are five basic welding joint types commonly used in the industry, according to the American Welding Society. 1. Butt joint. 2. T joint. 3. Corner joint. 4. Lap joint. 5. Edge joint. In this video we will discuss each type in detail. If you are new to this channel click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so that you will never miss an update. Butt joint welding. A butt joint is a joint where two pieces of metal are placed together in the same plane and the side of each metal is joined by welding. A butt weld is the most common type of joint that is used in the fabrication of structures and piping systems. It's fairly simple to prepare, and there are many different variations that can be applied to achieve the desired result. Butt welds are made in a variety of ways, and each one serves a different purpose. Varying factors include the shape of the groove, layering and width of the gap. Here are the different types of butt joints. Square butt joint. Single bevel butt joint. Double bevel butt joint. Single J butt joint. Double J butt joint. Single V butt joint. Double V butt joint. Single U butt joint. Double U butt joint. The area of the metal surface that is melted during the welding process is called the faying surface. The faying surface can be shaped before welding to increase the weld strength, which is called edge preparation. The edge preparation may be the same on both members of the butt joint, or each side can be shaped differently. Reasons for preparing the faying surfaces for welding include the following. Codes and standards. Metals. Deeper weld penetration. Smooth appearance. Increased strength. T-joint welding. T-welding joints are formed when two pieces intersect at a 90 degrees angle. This results in the edges coming together in the center of a plate or component in a T-shape. T-joints are considered to be a type of fillet weld, and they can also be formed when a tube or pipe is welded onto a base plate. Following are the different types of T-joints. Plug weld. Slot weld. Bevel groove weld. Fillet weld. J-groove weld. Flare bevel groove weld. Corner joints. Corner joints have similarities to T-welding joints. However, the difference is the location of where the metal is positioned. In the T-joint, it's placed in the middle, whereas corner joints meet in the corner, in either an open or closed manner, forming an L-shape. These types of joints are among some of the most common in the sheet metal industry, such as in the construction of frames, boxes, and other applications. The styles used for creating corner joints include V-groove, J-groove, U-groove, spot, fillet, bevel groove, flare V-groove, Lap joint welding. Lap welding joints are essentially a modified version of the butt joint. They are formed when two pieces of metal are placed in an overlapping pattern on top of each other. They are most commonly used to join two pieces with differing thicknesses together. Welds can be made on one or both sides. Lap joints are rarely used on thicker materials and are commonly used for sheet metal. Edge joint welding. In an edge joint, the metal surfaces are placed together so that the edges are even. One or both plates may be formed by bending them at an angle. The purpose of a weld joint is to join parts together so that the stresses are distributed. The forces causing stresses in welded joints are tensile, compression, bending, torsion, and shear. The ability of a welded joint to withstand these forces depends upon both the joint design and the weld integrity. Some joints can withstand certain types of forces better than others. The welding process to be used has a major effect on the selection of the joint design. Each welding process has characteristics that affect its performance. The rate of travel, penetration, deposition rate and heat input also affect the welds used on some joint designs. The following styles are applicable for edge joints. U-groove, V-groove, J-groove, corner flange bevel groove, edge flange. Due to overlapping parts, this type of joint is more prone to corrosion. 
Welders must keep in mind other defects like slag inclusion, lack of fusion, and porosity, which can also occur. Hope you have understood welding joint types. If you like this video click on the like button, if you enjoyed learning from this video and want to learn from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.